time on stage, first time doing stand up, and I had to fall. I had to fall out. Hey, 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 I pay for your ticket. Uh, I'm going to keep my set short and sweet. Remember what Tiger would say to all his girlfriends? I'm not going to keep you long. <laughs> After I graduated from UCLA, and uh, yes, 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 yes. The only school you can drink and party and graduate in five years on time. <laughs> so after I graduate, I want to travel the world. Greece, Turkey, Tibet. And then this one place I really want to go, Tibet, which is in the highest altitude area on Earth. So if this is our Denver, which is the highest point in the United States, this will be Tibet. <laughs> I heard so many scary stories about how lack of oxygen in your blood in a such high altitude area can uh, slowly kill you in your sleep. So before I went, I consulted my doctor friend, James. He's right there, thank you for the support. <laughs> uh, yeah. And uh, he said to me, he recommended me to take a three day train ride in so my body can adjust to the altitude so I won't have a heart attack and die. <laughs> I thought about it. Ah, oh, that's bullshit, I don't have time for this. <laughs> so I took a direct flight to Tibet, got in, dropped my back off. I want to go see the Topola, Topola Palace, which is the highest point of Tibet, right? After one hour walking, climbing, I arrived this uh, this palace, which overhand the cliff, with this amazing view. My heart is fine, no problem with any of the high altitude issues. I'm sitting there, whoa, James is an idiot. <laughs> yeah. Got back to the hotel after lunch, took a nap, I slept through the day and through the night. When I wake up the next morning, I couldn't talk right. I couldn't remember anything. <laughs> and, 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 and I have trouble walking, kind of like our President Biden. Biden. <laughs> so so, so um, I hobbled down to the hotel lobby, I asked the manager, yo, dude, uh, can you give me a taxi to the local hospital? I don't feel too well. I think I have the high altitude uh, illness. He looked at me, oh shit, we had two people died here last week. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and my sister came and visited me uh, last year. No, she didn't die, but she still can't talk. <laughs> uh, I spent the entire week in the local hospital, missed the rest of the Tibet. When I get back, I put health as my priorities. So eventually, I dis discovered CrossFit. I love CrossFit. It's a short, intense workout, give you quick and powerful result. Kind of like taking Viagra. Um, right, Brian? Yeah. The master knows. Good. But I, I, do, I do question the concept of CrossFit, which is functional movement, in high intensity. Functional movements. When in the real life do I ever need to flip a big giant tire? Okay. Or rope climb? Or my favorite, handstand walk. <laughs> hey honey, I'm going handstand walk to Target. Do you need anything? <laughs> no, but you, can you overhead squat me to change the light bulb? <laughs> Doesn't make sense. CrossFit is all about healthy competition. Nothing bonds a group of people together when they suffer together. <laughs> I once did a competition. It was to do a set of uh, 10 burpees, 10 pull-ups, and 100 jump ropes. As many sets of that in 20 minutes. The time goes on. I did my first set, feeling good. Another set, got to get a little tired. I tell myself, just breathe, just breathe. Wait, you're here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, but uh, I don't know how you get to take it, but anyway, anyway, anyway. So, uh, as I keep going on, the time goes on, did a few more sets, and suddenly I get tired. I'm exhausted. I'm, my hands are my knees. I'm gasping to air. People around me like, Scott, you can do this. You got this. My legs are just saying, I want to go home. <laughs> no mas, man, no mas. Thomas, let's go home. And I said to myself, hey, you did a lot already. And this bullshit is almost over. <laughs> I look at the clock, 
16 minutes to go. <laughs> I'm not competition. I finished 40 seconds out of 43 people. <laughs> I tell myself, Scott, you gotta get stronger. You gotta get better shape. And you need to find out who number 43 is. <laughs> I look at the scoreboard, Rick. <laughs> I find him sitting on the corner on the box, trying to catch his breath. Yo, Ricky, this is me, this is you. <laughs> then I saw him broke his finger, he had a big cast on. He was doing the whole competition with a big cast. <laughs> can, you, can you imagine the jump rope? Well, in CrossFit, a win is a win. Thank you, my time's up. <laughs> <laughs>